Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the channel. My name is Liz and I'm a reseller in Maryland. Today's video includes what some might deem a vintage emergency. There I was shopping the last day vintage dregs of some random estate sale in the boondocks when I got not one but two text messages from two different picker pals, thank you to Nathan and Joey, telling me about a free estate sale about 20 miles away. I could not get there fast enough and everything you're about to see was 100% free. Let's go check it out. Okay, so I was out in the country shopping at a mediocre estate sale mostly because it was the last day. And I received two texts from two of my picker pals, Nathan, Joey, thank you for the heads up. And they said, oh, there's this estate sale happening and everything's free. And I was like, excuse me, why am I out in the boondocks picking through all the leftovers? And I didn't even know that my van could go that fast. Just kidding. I definitely stayed within five to 10 miles of the speed limit. Um, so I got there and people were already inside, even though it was supposed to start at 12. Not that I'm saying they should have waited. I'm just saying, just painting the scene for you, you know? And the pickers who were there, I knew a few people like John, uh, but a lot of the pickers I didn't know and they were going crazy uh, because it made them feel probably pretty greedy maybe um, to have all the stuff be free. So anyway, uh, one of the things I grabbed, I thought these were empty <laughs> initially. I grabbed these little folders. They actually don't have a lot of value, but interestingly, they still had money in them. So I made a few dollars there. As you can see, there's quarters in that bowl. Let me move those aside for a second. Um, I've actually never seen this Fire King Orange Lusterware or Peach Lusterware bowl with the swirls. I've seen the Jadeite a few times. I have a set that I've kept for myself. I've seen the white, but I don't think I've ever seen the Lusterware now. You can see it does have some wear to it, but I do think that that's a decent find, especially for free. And I grabbed this Pimlico hat, not really realizing that it had as much value as it, as it did. So I will put up comps for things that I do find. I think there were a handful of things that I didn't actually find, so. Um, this is a Hager piece. It's pretty recognizable. Hager has these big dramatic pieces that are sort of like, got like this 50s, 60s Art Deco type look to them. And this one has that, I wanna call it fat lava glaze, but I, when I was using Google Lens, it was called popcorn. Anyway, this is like a cornucopia, which is, I don't feel like people use these that much, but I feel like they should make a comeback. I'm gonna make some kind of a hashtag. Like, I guess bring back the cornucopia is too long. Help me out. Maybe you can leave me a comment. But since cornucopia season is almost upon us, I don't think it'll be hard to rehome that to someone who likes mid-century pottery. Um, again, free. So when stuff is free, uh, I grab stuff that I can use, like price tags. So I grab some price tags. Um, I grab these bowls over here. I, these do not have a maker on them, but they sure do look like Fire King or maybe um, Federal Glass because they're kind of like that, that glass or maybe Anchor Hawking, but they don't have a mark. But honestly, it doesn't matter because I think they're staying here. This may reduce the cereal servings that some people give themselves, which could be, could save me money. Um, I feel like this Ottoman maybe was the best thing that I got. Well, maybe the light on top of it. This is like a sewing or storage Ottoman. It's in great shape. It needs to be cleaned up. It cleaned up beautifully. And when you lift the lid, you can put stuff inside. So it's really useful. It's got those beautiful taper and like sort of like brass or faux brass tipped wooden legs. So really, really cool. I did grab a couple of, um, sorry about that, a couple of recipe boxes. These can be very collectible because they're so full of nostalgia for people. And look out for the Land Lakes one. Uh, that one is actually like even more collectible because of like the whole dairy crowd. Uh, so, so keep your eyes out for that. I think I sold one for like close to a hundred dollars. Don't quote me on that. I'll look up the comp. Maybe it was 65. I don't know. Technically, does that round up to 100? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll see if I can find a comp or my own comp. Um, this light fixture is really cool. This is sort of like that tollware. I'm gonna repaint it um, out of respect for the family. I'm not showing the name. I'm not sure if it was common to have your name painted on your pendant light, but in this family they did, and they did not mind gifting it to me, and it's the kind I've been looking for, because if you look in the corner of the kitchen, 
I have this really cool ceramic fish and I have a tension pole lamp. This is not really the right place for it. I've been looking for a pendant lamp so that fish is gonna have to go somewhere else so I can just plug it in in the corner and have a pendant light because this corner of the kitchen gets a little bit dark. So anyway, uh, anything new old stock has my heart. So this may not be a huge moneymaker, pretty neat beauty organizer, but for some reason I had to have it. Maybe because the price was right. The pink is a beautiful color. I don't know what kind of people were, what kind of makeup collections people had back in the day. Maybe this is like, this is like for 1986 me, but like I need almost like a whole, I need a whole vanity for makeup now. And it's not because I wear more than I used to. I just have a bigger collection. I don't know. Anyway, um, oh, I don't want to skip these things. This is gold plated. It is marked, but I think it's modern. Um, it has some value. I think it's like 15 or $20. This one shocked me. This cute little thing that I said, oh, why the heck not? It's just a little mesh key ring. Look at the comp. You know, some of these souvenir pieces can be really good. This is just like a, a stone trivet. It's got like that checkerboard or chessboard look to it. But as you can see, it's pretty small. So I would be using that as a trivet. I may keep that and use it as a trivet um, or some kind of a decorative piece under a potted plant or something like that. Look, I was like, you can never have too many nutcrackers whether they're for nuts or lobster, whatever. Um, new old stock. I actually could not find this exact wallet. Um, I like how it's a photo frame clutch and you can switch things out. Um, I don't think it's hugely valuable, but I do think it's cool that I couldn't find this exact one. Um, and I wanted to show you everything I grabbed, stuff I wouldn't probably normally buy. Now I do buy vintage timers because sometimes they're worth a ton of money. I may be repeating myself. Um, I might have told you that before. That's a vintage um, Lux and they have a decent amount of value, especially when that price is right. I already showed you these really cute bowls. I wish there were six for some reason. What's wrong with five? I don't know. It seems like one is missing. I think the first thing I grabbed were these two, you can tell they're Italian pottery. So you grab these two pitchers. Um, I can't say that I've sold a lot of these or tried to sell a lot of these, but when they were free, I couldn't help myself. And I didn't really know what I was going to find. So I figured I can always put them down if I change my mind and some other picker would grab them. I couldn't find this exact shawl or scarf. I think this is 80s or 90s. Some of the prices seem crazy and I don't think these are that valuable. Um, leave me a comment if you have an idea. I just kept getting like the wrong item when I tried Google Lens, even when I uh, refined it with some keywords. So maybe you guys can help me out. Now this I'm gonna have to take a chance and soak because it's got marks on it. But again, if I had to pay for it and take a chance that way, I might not have done it. But this 1950s beaded uh, handbag was so cute and I think I probably can soak it at least maybe from here down. I don't know if I wanna soak the metal. Let me know how you might clean this. I don't know if that, um, what's it called? Restore, I gotta look it up. I never remember the name of it, but I use it all the time and I have it in my basement and I've shown it to you before. Uh, I don't know if that would make the metal rust. So I'm a little bit leery about how I'm gonna clean that. I suppose I could sell it as is and let an expert take care of it. That's always an option. This sweater, I, literally, I think my best friends had this sweater. Is this 80s? I'm pretty sure this is 80s. Even the tag looks 80s. Amazing. Not actually as valuable as I thought it was gonna be, but still valuable. Look at this vintage cap tag. Now I could look this up. Tell me what the name of that website is where you can look up tags. All the clothing resellers talk about it. I'll look it up for us and put it on the screen. <laughs> uh, word retrieval is, is a real problem in middle age as well as in other ages. But anyway, um, you can look up and see exactly how old this tag is. I mean, maybe not to the year, but to the era, let's say like the eighties or, you know, 85 to 87 or something like that. Uh, very classic scarf. I saw that gap tag and said, oh yes, I have to have that. Um, okay, this sweater is amazing. Cottage core, granny core. Look, it's got this like kind of cruel embroidery on it. These flowers, virgin wool. I don't know why that's important. Anyway, beautiful, excellent condition from what I could see. It was just hanging in the closet. And then this, I, I ended up with some false information on this piece. 
When I got to the car, I had to stop at Starbucks because I was really exhausted. I had already shopped out in the boondocks and then rushed over to the free sale where it was like a madhouse. When I first used Google Lens on this, I got really excited because it said $100, but it said it was a bottle holder. How? What? Help me out. How does this hold a bottle? I don't know what's wrong with my brain. Can you guys help me? I did use Google Lens on it to identify what it was, but it didn't show any pictures for how it was used. Do you like lie it on its side? I don't know. And it has like holes in it. Anyway, the first comp said it was 100, and then the other comps that I'll show you said 30 or 35. I got a little scared that it was an urn and it had like some ashes in it and I had run off with it. I mean, they looked at everything so they knew that it was there, but anyway, and last but not least, sometimes I like an empty box. Check this out. Come on guys. Sup Pose Slendo. I guess this is for men. I mean, I kind of hope it's for men, although the picture could be for anyone. Uh, sadly, this product is no longer in the box, but I do feel like someone might actually just like that box. What if you got some Slendo sup hose and I suppose you would need a box for it? I'm sorry, I, I apologize. This is off the cuff as you can see. Anyway, free is for me. I will put up a rough estimate unless I feel really like inspired and then I might put up a very detailed estimate of what I got for free. Um, it was awesome, I had a great time. Some of the shoppers were a little intense, uh, and that's coming from me. But I still had a great time. I got to see my friend John, so that was cool. So anyway, keep going out there. Keep looking for stuff. If you have a minute, check your phone, because some of your picker pals, Joey, Nathan, might send you a text and might give you a clue to come share in the bounty of picking. <laughs> anyway, get out there, have some fun, guys. Make yourself some money. <laughs> Never stop searching. And I will see you guys next time.